Cracking the Genetic Code Deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, is an extremely complex molecule found in all living cells, from human cells to one-celled bacteria. It is the substance of genes, the hereditary material that allows a cat to give birth to kittens instead of mice, and that determines the color of eyes, the shape of feet, the type of teeth, and millions of other traits that make individuals unique. Because the genetic code is written in its chemical structure of DNA, an understanding of how genes produce certain characteristic traits first requires an understanding of the composition of DNA itself. The appearance of a single molecule of DNA can be compared to that of a twisted rope ladder. This structure, called a double helix, is comprised of two strands of bonded molecular units, called nucleotides, and each nucleotide contains one of four different kinds of compounds, called bases, which bind together to form the rungs of the genetic ladder. The four bases are adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine, commonly referred to as A, C, G, and T, respectively. The precise order and amount of these bases in a molecule of DNA are unique to each individual being, although common pattern trends are passed down from one generation to the next, assuring the continuation of certain traits within a species. The form and function of a cell, whether it be a skin cell or a liver cell, for example, are determined by the type of proteins the cell produces. Proteins consist of small molecular units called amino acids, of which there are exactly 20 different kinds. A cell's DNA holds information for the synthesis of proteins from free-floating amino acids. The order in which the four bases are arranged in a DNA molecule determines the order and type of amino acids linked together in the formation of a protein chain. Specific segments of the DNA ladder carry the instructions for making specific proteins. Each of these segments is a gene which contains a certain number of bases arranged in a particular order. The specific language of gene instruction is a three-base code, meaning that any sequence of three bases corresponds to a specific amino acid. Scientists have named these sequences according to the abbreviated names of the bases. CAT, for example refers to the group of bases cytosine, adenine, and thymine arranged in the order listed. The first base sequence code to be deciphered was AAA. Researchers discovered the amino acid associated with the genetic code AAA by first isolating a strand of ribonucleic acid, or RNA. RNA is a reverse copy of DNA sequences that can travel outside the nucleus to synthesize proteins throughout a cell. As a reverse copy, RNA carries a sequence of bases which bond opposite of the bases on the DNA ladder. Bond oppositions are fixed such that U always bonds opposite of A and T always bonds opposite of C. Thus, a strand of RNA carries the original genetic code AAA as the three-base sequence UUU. To decipher the DNA code AAA, therefore, scientists utilized an RNA chain consisting of only U bases. They submerged the RNA strand in a mixture containing all 20 types of amino acids, along with the materials of protein synthesis. The result was a protein chain comprised of only the amino acid phenylalanine. This implied that the RNA code for phenylalanine must be UUU, which meant that the DNA code for this particular amino acid was AAA. Mathematically, the four letters of the DNA bases yield a total of 64 different three-letter combinations. Consequentially, most amino acids have more than one code. Only three of these three-letter sequences, UAA, UAG, and UGA, do not correspond with any of the 20 amino acids. What is most striking about the language of DNA is its universality. The same three-letter code signifies the same amino acid in all organisms, from humans to jellyfish to single-celled algae. All life is therefore defined according to a shared genetic code. Even more amazing is the simplicity of the genetic language. Despite the great variety of living creatures, their existence is written in the simple sequencing of basic molecular units.